Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on Earth. Today we'll talk about the tiny Jervis Bay territory of Australia. Click on this playlist to watch the rest of the series. Before we begin, please click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload three times a week, every week. The Jervis Bay Territory is a territory of the Commonwealth of Australia. This tiny piece of land was surrendered by the states of New South Wales to the Commonwealth Government in 1915, so the federal capital at Canberra would have access to the sea. It was administered by the Department of the Interior and later by the Department of the Capital Territory as if it were part of the Australian Capital Territory, although it has always been a separate Commonwealth Territory. The perception that it is a part of the Australian Capital Territory stems from the fact that under the terms of the Jervis Bay Territory Acceptance Act, the laws of the Capital District apply to the Jervis Bay Territory. Jervis Bay has a long history of indigenous Australian settlement. The Yuin people, for example, have a strong and continuing connection to the Jervis Bay area. The bay was sighted by Lieutenant James Cook aboard the HMS Endeavour on April 25, 1770, two days after St. George's Day. In August 1791, the bay was entered and named by Lieutenant Richard Bowen aboard the convict transport ship Atlantic of the Third Fleet in honor of Admiral John Jervis, under whom he had served. After this, there were several European ships and settlers that entered this bay, but there were never any significant attempts to settle the area that's today the Jervis Bay Territory. At the time of Federation, to allay fears that it would have too much influence in the federal government, New South Wales had agreed to surrender territory for the federal capital and to allow it access to the sea. Jervis Bay was selected to be that federal port. The crown land in the area was granted by New South Wales to the Commonwealth in 1909, at the same time that the Australian Capital Territory was surrendered to the Commonwealth. New South Wales also granted the Commonwealth permission to build a rail corridor linking the two territories, but this was never implemented. Even though it's a small piece of land, Jervis Bay Territory still has a lot to offer. Boudary National Park is filled with outstanding natural beauty and is home to around 200 different bird species and 30 native mammal species. This national park is a significant and sacred place for the Rag Bay Aboriginal community and the Koori people. Boudari is an Aboriginal word meaning Bay of Plenty and visitors to the area are asked to take care and respect the grounds. There is a range of activities in Boudari National Park including taking part in Boudari's Aboriginal interpretive program to learn about Koori culture and their traditional foods follow one of the multiple walking trails, catch a wave at Cave Beach or swim with schools of fish at Green Patch Beach. Cape St. George Lighthouse is also a popular destination for whale watching during migration season. Not too bad, right? Muna Muna Creek is the perfect place to set up camp for a few days and relax on the soft sand overlooking the clear blue water. An ideal spot for the whole family, the younger kids will love splashing around in the safe, shallow waters around the shore. You could spend hours just lazing on the beach or wading in the waters and it will most likely be a feat getting everyone back in the car to leave. If you're visiting at high tide, you won't be disappointed. Kayaking is a popular pastime in the creek, as well as swimming, so prepare yourself for a day in or on the water. There are two small towns or villages in the Jervis Bay territory, Jervis Bay Village and Rag Bay Village. Together they accommodate some 370 people. But even if the civilian population is small, the military has a major foothold in the territory ever since 1911. 
Her Majesty's Australian ship Cresswell is a Royal Australian Navy base that consists of the Royal Australian Navy College, the School of Survivability and Ship Safety, Calcara Flight and the Beecroft Weapons Range. As you can imagine, there's plenty of activity from these folks, but don't get your hopes up about visiting. The place is off-limits to tourists, although you will likely spot some military vessels out at sea. Believe it or not, the territory is also home to a museum. Showcasing a wide range of world-renowned maritime collections and artifacts, Jervis Bay Maritime Museum is a must-see. The museum displays a range of nautical equipment, models, photographs, paintings, drawings and more explaining the history and heritage of Jervis Bay. Located on the waterfront of Curran Bean Creek, the museum houses a selection of historic vessels too. There is a range of exhibitions showcased throughout the year as well as monthly markets held on the grounds featuring locally made produce and handmade products. Exhibitions are changed frequently, allowing you to visit multiple times and learn something new every time. These were 7 facts about Jervis Bay territory. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.